Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be looking at this, the Garmin VivoActive 4S. This is the Garmin VivoActive 4S smartwatch, successor to the Garmin VivoActive 3 smartwatch which I reviewed previously and will link to up here. Will Garmin be able to maintain the great qualities in health and fitness tracking and smartwatch features that impressed me so much in the Garmin Vivo Active 3. One new feature is that Garmin have now scrapped the music name from the Vivo Active range and have music storage as standard on both the 4 and the smaller sized 4S, which is reflected in the price. You could easily find a non-music Vivo Active 3 for under £200, but now the Vivo Active 4 and 4S can often start at £219. With the introduction of the S preceding the model number, Garmin now offer a large and small size watch. This version is the smaller sized 40mm version, but you can also get this in 45mm if you prefer a bigger watch housing. The 4S is made from the same Corning Gorilla Glass 3 as the last year's version, as well as being the same that featured on the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Apple iPhone 5S. You have still got the same polymer case, stainless steel bezel and silicon band which can be interchanged if you prefer the look of a different band. If you do, you'll need the 18mm quick release band for the 4S and the 22mm quick release band for the 4. You've still got the touchscreen capabilities on the colour display, but one feature from the Vivo Active 3 that hasn't been carried over into this generation is that nifty side swipe interface that allowed you to conveniently scroll up and down the watch's menus. Battery life has remained the same in this Vivo Active generation. You're still going to get the same seven days life in smartwatch mode and up to five hours in GPS mode while listening to music. But obviously these figures are going to decrease drastically depending on the health and fitness features that you have enabled. As well as improving the existing health monitoring features such as heart rate, stress tracking, sleep tracking, hydration levels, and if you're female, your menstrual cycle, 4S builds on those features with more emphasis on stress and fitness management with 24 seven respiration tracking so you can follow the number of breaths you're taking during the day and night and contributes to a more accurate result when tracking your stress and fitness levels. Body battery energy monitoring which using other health monitoring features like heart rate, stress and activity levels can determine when you're at your best physically speaking. The higher the score, usually first thing in the morning and after a good night's sleep, the better you'll be at carrying out a physical activity. Following on from this, your battery levels will decrease naturally throughout the day. Pulse Ox Blood Oxygen Saturation, the feature that most of the top smartwatches like the Apple Watch Series 6 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 are now incorporating alongside their heart monitoring and in the Apple Watch's case also the ECG monitoring. Knowing your blood oxygen saturation level during the day and night is a nice feature to have, but in most healthy children and adults, their oxygen saturation isn't going to fluctuate much between 95% and 100%. Who this feature is useful for is for people who have chronic respiratory and heart diseases such as asthma, where this data is helpful to help them monitor levels which may or may not result in them having to take immediate short-term or long-term action. To show the accuracy of the blood oxygen saturation data from the 4S, I've got a pulse oximeter used by medical individuals, predominantly on the finger. As you can see here, the oximeter shows the blood oxygen saturation 99% and the Vivo Active 4 showing a 94%. Now we're doing this test on a healthy young adult, so we should be expecting results of between 95 and 100%, but it's a bit concerning that the Vivo Active 4 is showing the blood oxygen saturation at 94 percent. The 4S follows in the 3's path by offering the same smartwatch features such as connectivity via Bluetooth and Plus which allows your watch to connect to other compatible health monitoring devices such as external heart rate monitors and Wi-Fi. When I reviewed the Vivo Active 3 I was using it with an iPhone but with the 4S it's being used with an Android phone, the Samsung Galaxy S20 which means you'll get enhanced interactions with your notifications from your phone where you can send responses and reject calls as opposed to only being notified of those things without the ability of having to interact with it with an iPhone. 
All of the data is still being collected via the Garmin Connect app, which is available on both the App Store and the Google Play Store. What I like about the app is with all that health and fitness data that the watch collects about you, it's presented in a clear and concise way, or as Garmin like to put it, fitness at your fingertips. Through your customized day at a glance, tracking your activities, sleep patterns, energy, hydration and stress levels in as much or as little detail as you want. Within the app, you can create workouts with new animations shown on your watch just to show you exactly how to do the exercise. You can earn badges based on your activity accomplishments and see how your friends are getting on with that activities if they have Garmin devices as well. Activity tracking and GPS tracking is still great, but what else would you expect from a company who specialise in GPS technology like Garmin do? Now in this running activity, you just have to set up and wait for the GPS. In this example, it took about a minute to find the GPS, but once it does, you can start your activity. You can always check it if you ever need to take a break. And you can even check it while you're running as well. And then when you're finished, you just simply end your activity and it just syncs to all of your fitness apps. You're still able to track your golfing activities, outdoor ventures and cycling. In an improvement in the swimming tracking, you're now able to get heart rate readings while underwater, which is a feature that Garmin has introduced to a lot of their more budget smartwatches that are compatible with swimming. With all these features, there is still Garmin Pay. Just like Samsung Pay and Apple Pay, you're able to pay contactless even if you don't have your phone or wallet on you while you're on a run or nipping out of the office on your break. I made a comment on my video on the Vivo Active 3 about Garmin Pay. It's also got Garmin Pay. I haven't found it that useful because there's not many places that do actually accept Garmin Pay. So maybe in the future that's something that's going to compete with sort of Android Pay, Apple Pay and various other things like that. My thoughts on it haven't changed as I'm still yet to find a place that accepts Garmin Pay. So there it is, the Garmin Vivo Active 4S, more of a specialised health and fitness smartwatch. A worthy upgrade from last year's Vivo Active 3 and 3 Music. With all its well-being features, including the health and fitness monitoring, workout tracking, the huge amount of data that this wrist-sized computer collects about you, while at the same time being able to collect and act on this data totally autonomously from your smartwatch, and together with its convenience at being just a pretty good smartwatch, make the Garmin Vivo Active 4 and 4S a great option for you if you're looking to start your health and fitness journey. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of these two videos here before the time runs out? Three.